The coronavirus outbreak has blurred the lines between religion and science, it seems. In South Korea, cult church is at the epicenter of the outbreak. Meanwhile, the Chinese regime is going by its own science to identify cases, irrespective of the panic this virus has unleashed. Let me start by showing you how much the Wuhan virus has contaminated the world. Look at the spread. 14%. If we go by the total number of countries from Hong Kong to Australia and from South Asia to Europe, 30 countries have confirmed cases of the coronavirus. It is truly a global epidemic. Some of these countries have reported deaths. Just a few hours back, Lebanon in West Asia confirmed its first case of coronavirus. The cumulative figure of cases outside China now stands well beyond 1,200. Among the worst hit is South Korea. More than 200 cases have been reported in this small country. Most of them are in the city of Daegu, the country's fourth largest with a population of two and a half million people. The Shin Cheonji Church of Jesus is at the epicenter of this outbreak. Most of the cases have been traced to a 61-year-old woman. She visited the church in recent weeks. Nearly 400 other members are now showing symptoms of the virus. The 9,000 believers of this church have been asked to self-quarantine and the church lies abandoned. No one is entering the church since Tuesday. We did disinfection work twice, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now all the disinfection work is complete, but yet no one has come. Meanwhile, in the north of this country, the capital city of Seoul has shut all branches of the Shin Cheonji Church. Public rallies have been banned and transport hubs are being disinfected. As Seoul is fortified, several other cities in this country have been declared special care zones. South Korea may have become the worst infected country after China. Listen to this statement by the Korean Prime Minister. The government declares Daegu and Cheongdo areas of North Yongsang province where a surge in the number of coronavirus patients were reported and causing difficulties as special management zones. We will take special measures for the areas. It is urgent that we find people who have contacted the confirmed patients in these areas. We will give full support including hospital beds, manpower and equipment. Back in China, the coronavirus has breached prison walls. New clusters of the virus have been spotted among 234 prisoners in jails across the Shandong province. There are also reports of seven policemen being infected. In the Hubei province, there are close to 230 cases at the Wuhan Women's Prison and 41 cases at the Shayang Hajid Prison. But Beijing is busy recalculating the contours of this crisis. The virus screening method has been changed yet again. The second revision in the method in less than a month. And there is no official explanation on why they're doing it or how they're doing it. Due to the lack of clarity, we could not confirm how exactly they're classifying patients now. But one thing's for sure, we can no longer rely on the numbers coming out of China. They say the death toll is close to 2,300, 2,300 dead in China. And the number of cases is well beyond 75,000 now. But these are official figures, and I would take them with a pinch of salt. Meanwhile, the regime is cracking down on citizens, and these videos are disturbing. Thousands of miles away from China and Ukraine, the coronavirus has led to turmoil. Violent clashes have been reported between residents and the police. Here's why. The people in the town of Nova Sanzari are protesting the arrival of a plane. This plane is carrying evacuees from China, was carrying. They fear that the people, the locals, could also be infected with the coronavirus. Yesterday, the residents blocked all roads leading to the sanatorium where the evacuees were being kept. There are also reports of a bus carrying them being attacked. Listen to this. 
Вести за 350 кілометрів. Viva descent 350 km away from Kiev across half of Ukraine to an inhabited area where people live right next to buildings where they will be accommodated isn't there any other place in Ukraine that can host 50 people that are located in more or less remote villages or in far areas where there is no threat to population районах де немає ніякої загрози для населення Sad and unfortunate, and that's what's happening. Coronavirus patients are being treated as human bombs. Nobody wants them. From turmoil to hope, though, in the Philippines, this is what we saw. A government-sponsored mass wedding saw 220 couples take their wedding vows while wearing surgical masks. What a sight this is. This country has recorded its first death due to the virus and has three cases so far, all of them being Chinese nationals. These images are from the city of Bako Log. Annual mass weddings are a tradition here. Back in China, one couple was not so lucky though. This is a story of Pen Yinhua, a frontline doctor in Wuhan. 29 years old, he has died. He and his fiance had planned to get married by the 1st of February, but they postponed their wedding due to the outbreak. 1700 other medical workers like Peng have been infected with the virus. They're battling for their life while helping others. This is the coronavirus story for now.